all the time about marine electronics. You know, how do you get the most out of your investment? I see a lot of times just the anglers not getting even the basic full potential out of their, their Lowrance, in my case, Lowrance equipment. Uh, I want to show you really quick how to just utilize the basics. Your mapping, uh, sonar, side scan, structure scan, and then going up front and then utilizing that on your next graph or your graph that's up on the bow of your boat. Utilizing stuff like live sight and again that map sharing function. So real quick on the water, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize your Lowrance equipment to the full extent. You know when I'm looking at the mapping and I'm following the contours, I'm looking, you know, for any kind of subtlety on a regularly boring area. You can see right here the contours have been all straight. There's really nothing much going on. And then we got just a little bit of a squiggly or something, just a little bit of change. Maybe there's something hard there. Maybe there'll just be a little piece of vegetation. But it definitely starts first with just getting behind my graphs and staring at my Navionics mapping. This is a perfect example right here, just idling down. But here we have like some bigger clumps of hydrilla. So basically all I want to do is just touch it and hit the waypoint icon. In my case, saving it as a grass clump. And just like that, that waypoint is saved right on the map. So now I'm going to actually turn around and fish those isolated clumps. And I could drop dots on all of those spots and turn around and just fish just those isolated clumps. Now that I saved the waypoint off of my side imaging, it actually runs through my entire system via the ethernet cable. Uh, so now all I gotta do is get up there and actually fish that one clump of weed. Now as I approach the waypoint like this, I'm coming at it, I'm using my heading extender to just kind of stay aimed up on it, and I'm watching my live sight. Keeping the nose of the trolling motor of my Minn Kota pointed straight ahead of me, and I'm just gonna kinda come straight up. You can see right here, now I'm gonna hit the power pull down. Right here, all of a sudden, my screen went all blurry. It's showing me that clump out there at about 60 feet away. So now I can sit back and actually fish that one clump. And remember, just because I'm running four graphs doesn't mean you can't do this at home with just two. One at your steering wheel and another one up at the trolling motor. All these screens are customizable. You can make them for yourself. Simply split up the screen, get the same functionality, and then move it up to the front and start doing the catching. And of course, if you're watching this and you want to get something for yourself or you want to get more information, stop in at your local Shields, talk to an associate today, and get more information on what's going to be right for you.